Hurry up! Wendy, punch the croc's nose in! We're coming! Uh, 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 I'll never be able to do it! That doesn't work! And if I take this, I can't take that! And... Uh, huh? Uh, you're the one screaming like that? You mean there's no croc-a-dragon? I have to choose my electives for next year, and, and it's just awful. I need to take advanced math, but I really want to take drawing class and public speaking. Public speaking is, like, so important, but music class is at the same time, and... Whoa, calm down! Uh, you just have to pick what you feel like taking. It's no big deal. Ugh, no big deal? It's a major big deal! What if I totally goof up and I can't get the job I want, huh? Hi there! Hey there, Michael! Hey. Hi, Wendy. What you doing? Something really stressful. So I wouldn't say no to a little trip to Neverland to take uh, a break from it. Well, in that case, Tinkerbell? No. <laughs> it looks like Wendy's <laughs> doing something really important. I think we should leave her alone today. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Super Tinkerbell! <laughs> Come on, guys! Draw them away. It'll be a hoot. Wait till you see. Let's go. No. <gasps> I mean, um, only two of us should go. If we all go, they'll figure out that they're near our special tree. Hmm. That makes sense. Hmm. So, what do we do? Let's go join the others in the tree. <laughs> Give me back my hat, you flying flea! I'm gonna hang you from the main yard, feed it to the sharks, mash you into potatoes! You should save your breath for running, Hook. Maybe you want your hat? Here. You're getting old, Hook, but I'm just a kid, and I always will be. See you later, old man. It's been fun, but my friends are waiting for me. Or we could just stay here. It's nice being here, just the two of us. We don't need Wendy, too. Seriously, Tink? Why are you being so annoying about Wendy? She's got enough problems right now. She doesn't need you being mean on top of it all. I knew it! You like Wendy more than me! I don't like anyone more than anyone else. And I have no desire to choose between you. That's what's great about being a kid. Mm -hmm. You never have to choose. Oh, really? Oh, I have an idea to get rid of Peter Smee. An evil, awesome, brilliant plan. Evil civilian. <sighs> If Peter grows up, he'll have to do, well, uh, grown-up stuff. And he can't do that in Neverland. So Peter just has to become an adult, and the island will be ours! And just what, you may ask, makes one grow up? Hmm. Oh. Hmm? Uh. Growing up is about making choices. Making difficult decisions, if you will. We're going to force Peter to choose. Choose between Wendy and Tinkerbell. Here's the plan. Capture the girls, cage, mermaids, lagoon, key, balance, and boom! Evil Sumillant! <laughs> mm -hmm. 
I like the one in red. Get up, you lily livered land lovers! <laughs> I'd go capture Wendy and Tinkerbell for me! You should have said so sooner, eh? That that was the plan and all. Capture Wendy and Tinkerbell? As if we haven't tried that one about a hundred million times already. Let's go! The Great Neverland x tag Ordinarily Silly Tournament will now begin! Yeah! yeah! Okay, let's pick teams! Listen up, guys! I'm the captain of the Water Lily team, and my first pick is... Wendy. Wendy? Wendy? Really? Ugh. You always choose her! I'm fed up! But... Don't worry, Peter. I'll go speak with her. Okay, well... If everyone else is leaving, I'm gonna go take a walk, too. I heard it's migration day for the double humpback whale. Don't want to miss that. What about the tournament? Take Peter, you're it! <laughs> <laughs> we didn't start yet. <laughs> yeah, well, you're still it. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll just see about that. The captain sure asks a lot. How does he expect us to capture Wendy and Tinkerbell? With bait. A fairy can never resist a shiny object. And this shell sure shines a lot. But it won't be as easy for the girl now, will it? He could have asked us to capture the four-eyed boy instead. That would have been easier. <laughs> I bet he's come to see the double humpback whale migration. It's the right season. A walking lure. A tad unwieldy, but... No. Uh... I have an idea. You handle the little fairy, as Bjorn and I will take care of the girl. <laughs> Thanks to four eyes. <laughs> We've got to capture John anyways. Hmm. I still don't get it. Right. Well, here's what we're going to do first. I think... The double humpback whale can't resist chicken fish eggs. <laughs> what am I going to do? No more crew, no more friends, no more boats! <laughs> Someone there? Someone who could lend a hand to a poor little pirate in distress? Who's there? You can't fool me. I might be blind, but I'm not deaf. I can tell someone's there. Wait, wait. It's me, John. John? Yes. What's the matter? Can't you see anymore? Oh, no. I can't see anything. I spill the captain's meals. I miss the target during target practice. <laughs> I even almost ran the Jolly Roger aground on a rock. <laughs> Uh, there, there. It'll be okay. Maybe you're not really blind blind. Maybe you just need to wear eyeglasses. You think so? But I don't have any glasses. Maybe you could give my glasses a try. Really? Can I? Oh, thank you. I can see. I can see! In fact, I see... A double humpback whale over there! Really? Where? Hey! My glasses! I can't see a thing without my glasses! Wendy this, Wendy that. Uh, hey! So beautiful! <gasps> Fairies, so easy to catch. Tinkerbell? Where are you?
are you? Tinkerbell? <gasps> John's eyeglasses? What are they doing here? <gasps> Peter! Tinkerbell! John! <gasps> Peter? Them kids are all the same. <laughs> Tink. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> <Whee>! <laughs> Too late. You'll never catch me. I run like the wind. Uh, <coughs> more like a breeze. <laughs> <laughs> it's too bad Tinkerbell and Wendy aren't here. they're up to anyway. Huh? What's that? Are you drying your dirty laundry? It's a white flag. You call that a flag? <laughs> you won't act so tough when you learn that we have both Wendy and Tinkerbell. Stop! <sighs> if you want them back, you have to follow me. I have to follow you, huh? What's the trap? A trap? What trap? Come on, there's no trap. Sorrow? Sorrow! Sorrow? Sorrow! It's not funny! Give me back my glasses! <laughs> they really got me this time. The Mermaid's Lagoon? What do they have to do with this? John, I don't know what they did to John, but they had his glasses. Look, they caught me too. Free them immediately, you creep, or else. Not so fast. All I have to do is give the signal and splash. One little dip in the cursed lake and the little ladies will become evil. Oh, that would be such a shame, wouldn't it? An evil Tinkerbell. That would be great to add to my collection. Or a Wendy. A pretty little Wendy all alone in the lagoon. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Such a shame. Well, well. If your friends touch the water, they're done for. And this is the only key that can free them. But here's where my plan becomes evil simulant. You're getting slow, Hook. I'm too fast for you. Oh, no. He took the key from the captain. Ah! Go, go, go. <laughs> Missed. <laughs> no, not quite. No. 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 You lose. <laughs> Almost. No. 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 Mm, not quite. That's enough. You bunch of feather brain fruit flies. I want Peter to have the key. That's the plan. Just like I explained to you. What do you mean you want me to have the key? That's a pretty stupid plan, Hook. <laughs> Why does the captain want Peter to have the key? It must not be the right key. Or the right locks. It must be something. Shmee! Now pay attention. You can open both cages with this key. But if you open one and set a girl free, boom! The other one falls in the water and becomes evil. You can only save one of them, Peter. You have to choose. Evil Samillion, isn't it? <laughs> choose? No way! You're gonna free them both right now! But I can't. You have to choose one. And you have to choose fast. Otherwise, you'll lose both of them. Look how high the water is already. Come on, Tide. Rise faster. We're almost there. So, Peter, which of your friends will you choose to save? Hurry, Peter! We don't have much time. The water is getting higher. Hurry and choose me so we can be done with this. I think they'll take the fair.
Daddy first. Ten to one, they snatch Wendy first. Silence, you dimwitted dodos! How do you expect him to choose if you keep squawking all the time? It's simple. I'm not gonna choose at all. <laughs> it's impossible! I thought of everything! Maybe we should be, uh, betting on Peter? Show some respect for the captain's evil civilian plans, eh? Two rounds of dishwashing duty that Peter picks Wendy. Aha! Uh -huh. I've got it! to bring the cages together. Uh, harder! No, 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 he can't do that! Ah! Oh, hang in there, uh, Wendy. Uh, I, I don't know if I can. Come on, Wendy. Are your muscles made of marshmallows or what? Uh, 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 hold on, I'll be right there to open yours. <laughs> Hi, Peter! <laughs> it's, it's... I can't hold on much more! Tinkerbell! Wendy! <laughs> it's impossible! I told you so. I said so, didn't I? Hey, evil Loxy Moronic! Mission Impossibilistic, Moxie Malarkey. Hmm. Right. Are you going to choose or what? You're certainly taking your time to grow up, you know. I can't wait. Tinkerbell will make a very nice sardine. You're the sardine? But it bugs me how Wendy's always showing off those leg things of hers. Yeah, but Tinkerbell can fly, and that's even more annoying. Nonsense. I'm right, don't you think? Um, you see, even Chloe thinks I'm right. Hey! Huh? What if you got to choose? Huh? Why not? After all, if you choose for me, it would make the situation a lot easier. No! No, no, no! Peter has to choose! Peter has to choose! Otherwise, it's no fun. Well? I say Wendy. No, Tinkerbell. Wendy, Tinkerbell, Wendy! The more intelligent of you should choose. Of course, that's me. It's me! 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 You'll never be able to it's choose. Me. This stinks. It's clearly no, me! It's me! <sighs> Too bad. We'll have to leave it to chance, and that will make one of you a big loser. What? what? You're the one who lost. What's gotten into you? Stop. Oh, no! Come on! Drop it! You drop it! We could always let her play with the mermaids a little more. Tinkerbell. Okay, okay. <gasps> this is on your fault. Thanks for the key, Huck. <laughs> See ya, you brainless clownfish. <laughs> Your fault, me. That trap was completely evil, rotten rubbish! Oh. Well, what exactly was that trap all about? Uh, he had to free them because the captain gave him the key, right? So it was the key that was the trap, eh? Then who won the bet? I did, didn't I? Come on, say it with me. It sure is good to be able to see again. Hey, Wendy, will you read us a story? Say yes, please. Michael, you know that Wendy has things to do. She needs to choose her electives. You know what? 
I don't think it'll take much time at all. I'm gonna pick the subjects that I feel like taking, and we'll see how the pieces fall into place later. I'm not in a hurry to choose. I'm not in a hurry to grow up. Well then, good night, guys. Ready for a story? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> you know it, sister! <laughs> Once upon a time, in a lagoon far, far away, there was a cranky old captain with an evil Sumerian screen. Wendy! What? If she wins, I'll boil her a disgusting brain stew every night for a month. And if you win? When I win, she has to wash all my capes for a month. You're on. <laughs>